hi hello welcome to my channel learn more maths my name is varak kumar uh, today we are going to draw a graph of the quadratic polynomial from x is 3.2 third problem this is fifth bit so there are five bits in the third problem already we have completed four bits uh, this is fifth bit so very very important it is uh, uh, draw the graph of the polynomial and find its zeros he asks in the examination for four marks so definitely you can get a graph on the quadratic polynomial so you have to concentrate and draw and practice at three four times so you can get perfect so see here what he has given in the fifth one draw the graphs of given polynomials and find the zeros justify the answers so fifth one p of x is equal to x square minus one so it is very easy so the given comparing to the remaining four it is very easy so it has only x square and constant there is no x term here to find the ordered pairs it is very easy to find the ordered pairs so here p of x is equal to x square minus one the given polynomial is p of x equal to x square minus one to find the ordered pairs let it is y is equal to x square minus one so y is equal to x square minus one so by this is the table of ordered pairs uh, by taking the x values we have to find the corresponding y values by substituting the x value in the equation y is equal to x square minus 1 so here uh, these are the x values uh. so i have taken x minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 uh, 3 so here uh, uh, we have to find uh, what is there in equation to find in order to find the y values we have to find first x square we require yes we have to find x square values so next x square minus 1 is there so this is y is equal to x square minus 1 by writing x and y we can get the ordered pairs so see here all these are the x values now have to find x square by squaring all the values of x we can get x square values so, so here it is minus 3 whole square minus 3 whole square is 9 minus 2 whole square is 4 minus 1 whole square is 1 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 so just we have to square the all values of x to get x square values so, so this is uh, x these are the x square values next what is there x square minus 1 is there just we have to subtract 1 from all the values of x to get x square minus 1 so here 9 minus 1 is 8 4 minus 1 is 3 1 minus 1 is 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 here also 1 minus 1 is 0 uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 9 minus 1 is 8 so these are the y values x square minus 1 y is equal to x square minus 1 so by writing x and y we can get the ordered pairs minus 3 comma 8 this is the first ordered pair minus 3 comma 8 so next minus 2 comma 3 this is second one minus 2 comma 3 so next minus 1 comma 0 third one minus 1 comma 0 so next 0 comma minus 1 1 comma 0 uh, 2 comma 3 3 comma 8 3 comma 8 so these are the ordered pairs now by plotting these ordered pairs on a graph sheet we can get the curve of a corresponding uh, polynomial so now we have to observe where the curve is intersecting the x-axis in order to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial so now we have to plot all these ordered pairs on a, a graph sheet so see here how can we plot these ordered pairs on the graph sheet So now we have to plot the points on the graph uh, before that we have to select the scale on x axis 1 centimeter equal to 1 unit and y axis 1 centimeter equal to 1 unit the first two point is minus 3 comma 8 uh, and uh, so here uh, a minus 3 comma 8 yes it is minus 3 comma 8 so next uh, 
minus 2 comma 3 uh, second one is uh, minus 2 comma 3 x is minus 2 y is a 3 here it is a minus 2 comma 3 so next uh, minus 1 comma 0 it lies on the x axis at minus 1 this is minus 1 comma 0 next uh, 0 comma minus 1 so x is a uh, uh, 0 y is minus 1 next uh, 1 comma 0 x is 1 uh, y is 0 it lies on x axis at 1 2 comma 3 x is 2 y is 3 uh, next 3 comma 8 x is 3 y is 8 so now we have to so disable the labels uh, disable all the labels we do not want a b c d f g so now we have to see here uh, again disable g also so now by passing through all the points uh, we have to draw a smooth curve with the help of a sharp pencil so here uh, see here how can we draw the curve by passing through all the points uh, we have to draw a smooth curve with a sharp pencil so see here uh, like this we have to draw the curve it should be passed through all the points uh, where we have identified on the graph sheet uh, So see here uh, this is the parabola what it is a parabola so from the parabola now we have to find the zeros by observing the parabola where it is intersecting the x axis so now we have to write the zeros uh, see here from the graph uh, the parabola is intersecting the x axis at the points uh, minus 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 0 therefore uh, zeros of p of x is equal to minus 1 comma plus 1 so these are the zeros of given quadratic polynomial so this is the fifth bit totally we have completed all five bits in the third problem so that's all student in the next class we will do another problem so thanks for watching